Hey guys, it's Brian from CarverBanjos.com. Try to keep this update really brief, even though there's a lot of things to update you on. Uh, I've taken the Minstrel Americana and Cello Banjos off the site recently. Um, these use bent rims, and I've just gotten so far behind on bending rims and just so many orders. I decided I was going to take those off the site for a while so I have time to catch up to my current orders. I am catching up. Um, for Memorial Day, I'd like to start selling the new Gourd Banjo kit. Here's one example for you. This one has a Banza neck. There are eight different unique neck styles with and without frets. So there's 16 options, and you can look at all of those options on the Gord Banjo page. Might not be up at the moment. You can also see what kind of necks I'm selling on the Mountain Banjo page. I've been doing it that way for a while now. Eight different necks with and without frets on a mountain style body. I'm going to do this for all of my kits. Uh, the reason I took the Minstrel Americana and Cello off is because I'm going to start doing the rims a little bit differently. I've found a source on rims, so now I have on hand 10 inch maple rims and 12 inch maple rims. Uh, I am going to take a break from bending rims for a while. Uh, if there's demand for it, maybe in the future I will return to bending rims and offer those as a separate kit option. But uh, these rims are really nice. They're very round. Honestly, they're probably higher quality than what I make myself. So it's a really, it's a good improvement for the product. So here I have a 10 inch. This has the old time neck on it but you can get any of those eight necks on the 10 inch rim. And you see we're using a different kind of dowel system. It's a little more traditional and it uses less materials. For me, uh, before I was using a square dowel and uh, for every two dowels that I was cutting out of walnut, I was basically losing the material to make a walnut neck. So this way, my materials will go a lot farther. And uh, it was really time consuming cutting square holes uh, into every rim. Now I can just drill the hole and it's done. So, so I'm saving so much time, lots of material, and uh, I'm able to keep offering these kits at a low price. Um, here's a 12 inch rim version. This one is using the new Liberty neck style, and you can get any of the necks on the 12 inch rim too. Um, the, both versions use the same scale length neck to keep everything simple for me. So uh, the 12 inch banjo is a little bit bigger than the 10 inch, but the scale lengths are the same. The necks are all interchangeable. They're all the same. So. Check out the site, carverbanjos.com. I'm putting the gourd banjo kits up. Uh, I'm trying to have them up for Memorial Day on Monday. So keep an eye out for them there. And uh, once I get that rolling, I'm gonna be adding the bent rim kits up to the site. And a final announcement, um, my brother has made all of my websites for me. And I've asked him to add a forum to the website. This way we can like kind of build a community. Uh, people already talk about the banjos everywhere else. Why not have them talk about it on the site? Like I've seen people talk about them on Reddit, Banjo Hangout, YouTube, Instagram. Let's have a centralized place so like new customers can come in and see all the info that's there. And it's a great use of time for me to answer questions there on the forum. So let's say you have a problem or you need help or you need explanation for a part of the assembly process. 
I want to answer it there publicly so everyone can benefit from that. And also other customers can help each other. And uh, also it's just a cool place to share your customization, share your build process and uh, share playing videos. And this is all just uh, a little piece of the puzzle. Um, my final goal is to, you know, not just have a community, but to actually be able to share my knowledge and build banjos with people in person. Uh, maybe someday I can have like a weekend banjo camp um, where we, maybe 10 people come together to my workshop and we build a banjo over the weekend and we get to know each other, we hang out, uh, kind of like a camping type deal. And uh, I think that'll be really fun, and that's really my end goal with Carver Banjos, to be able to do that. So, thanks for all your support over the years. Uh, I feel like a lot of stuff is happening now. A lot of things are uh, falling into place and being the way I want them to be. So, uh, thanks for that. CarverBanjos.com, do-it-yourself banjo kits. Have a great weekend.